and welcome to Wisconsin Huddle Unleashed. I'm Zach Hanley, he's Tanner Bordellini, and we're gonna make some s'mores. Three, two, one. What, what number do I need? Six? Tanner, when's the last time you maybe made a s'more? Uh, we had a campfire in about uh, late or late August, I would say. Yeah. That's probably the last time we made s'mores. It's been, it's been a while for me. Usually, uh, usually in the summer for a campfire. So do you like yours? golden brown or you like put it in let it burn take it out eat it i like to get a good golden brown too okay it. i'm actually more of a hey let's start this sucker on fire real quick and get it done never a bad way quick and easy so did you, did you do this a lot growing up yeah like we used to go uh, camping quite camping, a bit camping okay camping and did a lot of campfires yeah so obviously roasting hot dogs and all that stuff too exactly the whole, the whole works it was awesome uh, Love doing it as a kid. I think I still love doing it as an adult. Yeah. Though. Just one has to catch on fire and then I'm good to go. There we go. All right, so I know there's all like, you know, do you put peanut butter on your graham cracker? How do you, what's your go to s'more? Or are you just kind of old fashioned? I'm pretty simple? old fashioned, just the graham cracker and chocolate. Most of the time I'll probably double the chocolate. A little okay. more, I never hurt anybody. Double but chocolate? Double all right, chocolate. I like that. I, uh, I'm a big peanut butter guy, so I like peanut butter on the graham cracker, then chocolate, then so there we go. <laughs> now we're in business. Now we're in business. Um, ever put anything like like those peppermint patties on it? Or, no, never. No? You're giving okay. me some ideas. All right, though. yeah. You would take some notes. Kind of a s'more connoisseur, I would say. Oh, here we go. So growing up, you said going camping. Did you have like a certain spot every year? Or did you kind of... Where'd you go? Uh, we, so we had a camper at uh, Harbor Village, if you know where that is. Okay. Um, so uh, we slept it there the whole summer. Nice. And we'd go up there almost every weekend. It's probably my favorite thing to yeah. do growing up. Uh, you and your family or friends too? Like, family and friends. So kind of everyone we knew would kind of get in a little oh, gather little, in the same spot. Little pod, kind of, and everyone's campers are next to each other. And uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Dad always took care of it, you know. Growing up, I think he felt that was kind of his obligation. Yeah. You know? But I don't think he'd want anyone else to do it, you know. Just kind of what he enjoyed doing, took pride in. And it, was, it was always pretty well built. The TP, mm -hmm. little TP, yeah. Mm -hmm. So my, <laughs> we had always, uh, when I was old enough to be in charge of the campfire, didn't really grasp the TP, so I would just take. Uh, lighter fluid and just kind of get it going. Mm -hmm. But now I've grasped the TP, so I'm I'm 
good when it comes to campfire. But that was a that was a skill that I needed to learn. Everyone starts somewhere. I think we all probably <laughs> <laughs> did the same thing you did when we were younger <laughs> once or twice. So. Anything besides like what what else did you do? Camping, just kind of relax or yeah, honestly, yeah, just get away. Just get away. Yeah. Nice to get away. So is that something that you still do before or in between uh, summer workouts and? Fall camp a yeah, we bit. usually get like a little bit of time off, maybe a week or so. And I think my family always makes a great emphasis to kind of get a little time together before yeah. everyone goes to school, goes their separate ways. Um, so usually for about a one week, we'll go somewhere. You know, maybe it's a cabin up north, maybe you know somewhere in Florida. But uh, it's been it's just really good to kind of get to see them for a whole week, enjoy that time with them before you know you head into the football season. And you don't have quite as much time as you would like to see them. Yeah, nice nice opportunity just to kind of recharge, not think about anything, relax with the family, and then, all right, now it's go time. Right? Yeah, exactly. All right, well, we're going to finish our s'mores, but that's it for this week's Wisconsin Huddle Unleashed. For Tanner Bordellini, I'm Zach Hanley.